you've ever read the book Alice in Wonderland, which, by the way, is an extremely strange book, very, very odd. Um, still not sure if Alice was dreaming the entire time or not. But, or if you see the movies, you know, the idea is that Alice follows a rabbit down a hole and it opens up a whole new world for her. And that's, that's the way that math can be. If you start really kind of going down kind of the rabbit hole of math, you know, you could come up days later and find yourself a lot, a lot better at math, but also you've, you've spent a lot of time. So we're going to start with just a little warm-up problem, okay? Um, now, I, I'm fairly certain nobody is going to be collecting these worksheets at the end. I gave them to you more just to kind of have like something to be able to write on and stuff like that. But, but let's start with this problem. So here's what I'd like you to do. All right. I'd like you to pick any positive integer from 1 to 10, inclusive, meaning that you can also pick 1 and 10. All right. Now, now for me, and then you just throw it in that first blank. For, for me, at least, um, like immediately, I, I'd love to know what the distribution is of the integers. You know, like in theory, like one tenth of you chose one, one tenth of you chose two, one tenth of you chose three. But yeah, I bet that's not actually how it turned out. I bet, I bet there's not that many tens or ones. I bet there's a lot of fours and fives and things like that. But again, that's the rabbit hole. That's not the point of this. So then, what I want you to do is I want you to square your integer, right? Just take your number and square it. All right. That's simple enough, hopefully. Now what I'd like you to do is subtract 4 from your result. Now, by the way, at this point, some of you could have a negative result that you're sitting at. Some of you could have 0. That's fine. Not really the point. So you've all taken an integer. You've squared it, and you've subtracted 4 from it. All right. Now what I want you to do is I want you to divide that result by 2 more than your original integer. Now, if you say to yourself, well, that didn't turn out very nicely because I just did 23 divided by 3, and that's not nice, then I apologize. But you made a mistake in steps 1 through 3, so you know, find it. Um, this will turn out nice. And by nice, I mean an integer. By the way, just not to dispel any facts, positive whole numbers aren't the only numbers that are out there. Negative numbers are completely fine. Fractions are great. They really do exist. If they didn't, then I would have to go from being one year old to two years old. Time would cease between the two. Even irrational numbers are real. Nobody gets that joke. Um, apparently, imaginary numbers aren't, although most of you haven't seen those yet. Um, now what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to add 7 to your result. So whatever you got when you divided your last integer by 2 more than your original, I'd like you to add 7 to that. And then finally, and this is the last thing, I'd like you to take that result and subtract your original answer from it. All right, so we didn't all start off with different integers. The way I know that is that uh, there's more of 10 of you in here. All right. By the way, in mathematics, there's a name for that. It's called the pigeonhole principle. If I've got 10 kind of containers and I start putting things in there, if I've got more than 10 things, one of those containers holds more than one. Seems obvious, but then again, it's given a name in math because many times in math we give things an obvious name. So we would expect a nice distribution of different results here, right? So just kind of curious, the last result, number six, who, uh, who ended up with a number larger than 10? OK, you got one person with another result. Well, hey, maybe he started with that. Who ended up, their final result, the number was two? OK, that's weird. Um, that was supposed to be a drum roll. That didn't work. It's <laughs> better. Okay. Who came up with five? Me. Yes. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.